Outlaw Sports is brought to you by Molson Canadian, made from Canada, and Rocky Mountain Barbecue, Alberta barbecue cuisine at its best. Ten years ago, our friend Ed Whalen passed away. Uh, we worked with him for a long time. Uh, 18 years for me, probably about the same for you, I would think. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think um, you worked with him very closely on the road. Uh, when you think about Eddie and you think about the days that we had, and there was a lot of there was a lot of fun times working with Eddie. He had a good sense of humor, uh, and he put up with a lot of crap from us youngsters. Yeah. Uh, what comes to mind? Well, a million things come to mind. First of all, it was 10 years ago he died, um, and I think you won't see people like Ed Whalen around cities anymore because of the multi-channel universe right now. There's more of us to, there's more people to watch. There's more, ch there's more cho uh, choice. Yeah. So therefore, the icons of, of of a city won't be around anymore. Ed was more entertainer. I think he would fit in as a young man in today's world because he wasn't really a staunch sportscaster. He was an entertainer first yep. and loved the local team. So I think Ed, if he was a younger man, would really fit into t today's uh, world of, of sports broadcasting. A lot of things come to mind. Traveling with Ed really come into mind. Uh, when I would get on an airplane with Ed after uh, doing the Flames on 2 and 7, I would put on my Walkman and listen to music and shut off the world. Eddie would work the airplane. How you doing over there? And he, even if he didn't know anybody, yeah. he would know everybody. He, and if we were out late the night before, or at least I was, he probably wasn't. We were all tired. Eddie had to work the games. And uh, I'm sorry, work the airplane. It's kind of like uh, Eugene Levy and Bobby Bibbon. How are you? Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, yeah. exactly. Um, Eddie, after a Flames game, if we had a telecast, Flames on 2 and 7, I was so proud if it was a good telecast, if we had good interviews, if we had good features, if it was at a, a, an entertaining game and everything worked well. I really wanted the game to be good for people at home to view good TV. Eddie was solely concerned if the Flames won and lost. He broadcast it as a fan first. Yeah. I didn't like it then, but I appreciate that more now than I did back then. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. You know what, Grant, I think of all the guys, and you know, I was probably closer, where I, I adopted his style probably more than any of you guys, because I was about the entertainment more than, true. than you That's know, true. going out and, and, and finding great stories. I loved the entertainment aspect, tried to make it entertaining, and I learned a lot of that. You just got me. off track a few times, <laughs> but you're absolutely right. If you had pursued that with more, no, you're right. Joe Sports, a former colleague yeah. of mine at, uh, at Global, right. he was like that too. Sure. Where I think that is very important in broadcasting, and I didn't see it way back then. I wanted to be that, get the good story out and, and do that. There's nothing wrong with that. No, no, no. But it, I appreciated Ed Whalen for doing that. He was probably, for an older guy, I, I think he had that. You and know, he picked the control. spots. He picked the spots. He loved, he loved, he, he told the people what they wanted to hear. He just bashed the Oilers and Glenn Sather like you wouldn't believe. He, and, but that's how you win viewers that's exactly over and right. fans over. That's exactly right. And I was right. told by my boss yep. at Global, says, Grant, can you stop being so cantankerous sometimes? Don't piss people off so much. But I, but to me, too late. It, yeah. Because, <laughs> but to me, as a reporter, a sports reporter, if you if you're not doing that, you're not doing your job. Yeah. But Ed Whalen knew that. You know, he would really dump on Glenn Sather and the Oilers ad nauseum, in my opinion. Oh my gosh, Ed, you're going yeah, after. Yeah. The Oilers. But people in Calgary yeah, love. They when identified you did that. with them, sure. But what about when the Flames crapped the bed? Would nope, you do that? Nope. Nope. No, it's like I a had to do that. Yeah. If they if they if they didn't finish, it was like maybe somebody should do the 5:30, because <laughs> he wasn't going to do that. He he wasn't going to cross that line. Funniest story uh, regarding Ed Whalen was it a 65th or a 60th birthday? 60th. That Grant and I decided yeah. we needed to bring in some entertainment for in the newsroom. In no. the newsroom. In the newsroom. This was back. If you did it now, we'd both be lynched. But uh, anyhow, so we decided to bring in a female dancer told Ed she was a practicum student. He said, oh, good, pleasure to meet you. You know, the charm came out. And uh, all of a sudden, some music, what's going on? All of a sudden, this girl jumps up on the table. On, on his desk. On his, on his desk. On his, on his desk in a working newsroom. Yeah. I, I've told that, and, he, and she danced for a while. He just sat. It was during she, stampede she time. She did this, Grant. And he had his little uh, cowboy uh, leather vinyl yeah. vest on and his little bolo tie. He fell off his chair. Yeah, That's he, what happened. He was like, oh, my. <laughs> Backwards he no, goes. He did. 
<laughs> he, I've told he, that story. He missed the opening to the news. Any other time in history, it wouldn't have been allowed, but then it was. I've told that story to colleagues in the Global Newsroom today. Mike, they, they think I'm, I'm, I'm lying when I said we did that, and they don't believe it, but it yeah. did. Uh, the one thing about Ed I want to say is that one time we were traveling, and we were going to Alcatraz. We are doing the San Jose Sharks in San Fran. Eddie had a, a, a toupee. Did anybody know that? <laughs> and we are going over to Alcatraz on a boat, and it's really windy. And I, oh man, I was so nervous. I thought I'd have to. <laughs> it's almost like you don't want to see your parents in a certain, you know, you'll be embarrassed. And I didn't want to see Eddie bald, but the wind is howling and, he, and he's going over like, this. oh my God, I need a chin strap, kid. <laughs> and I, oh, I just thought, I'll dive in and get it in for you. <laughs> oh, Eddie. Yeah. Enough said. We had fun, didn't we? Yeah. Tired of going to redneck barbecues? Well, you better call Rocky Mountain Barbecue. Alberta barbecue cuisine at its best. Great tasting food, clean and efficient service. Check us out online or call Rocky Mountain Barbecue.